The construction industry is a huge industry. It spends about $10 trillion annually, and it employs about 7% of the world's working population. However, it's also the second least digitized industries in the world, where about 25 to 40% of the world's carbon emissions are spent. But we are also living in a digital age, in an age where technology is growing exponentially. So can we somehow use that as a superpower to help us tackle some of these problems? So you'll need to have these kind of superheroes that can actually understand technology, understand the domain knowledge, and then build this road or, or connected dots, technology dots, to help, to help you achieve added value in your processes. So in this hackathon, we did just that. So we used different types of technologies that we had available to us, and we built this system that could try to solve the use case that we wanted to solve. We wanted to try to decrease the carbon footprint in the full life cycle of the project. And we will try to do that in the first design stages, where you can actually have a bigger impact on the full life cycle uh, carbon footprint. In this hackathon, we focused on the technical design side, and uh, in the future hacks, then we can focus on the concept design and investment decision phases, which have, of course, a higher possibility to influence. And for example, we can do it so that in conceptual design phase, we could use SWECO's parametric design ecosystem that allows you to quickly check different options from the design and calculate the carbon footprint for that. And then in the investment decision phase, we could, for example, use or connect the system to the project wisdom ecosystem that would bring the, the predictive component to this process. So it could use the information that has been collected when we start collecting this type of information, and it could use, for example, predictive analytics and machine learning to try to add value to the process so that we can then get, get recommendations, for example, on, on how we could do things better in a more sustainable way. So in these last two days of hacking, we have created an automatic system that can extract the material quantities from a building information model. It can extract the CO2 values from those uh, materials from the world's largest EDP cloud database. And then we have, with this information, created an interactive report that can basically summarize the results. And finally, we save the results of this process in our cloud databases so that we can start building an history of how the design decisions done during the design lifecycle can impact in the carbon footprint. And this will allow us to use this data later on to help us further reduce the environmental impacts of our buildings and infra projects. So to demonstrate the system, I'll select the entire bridge. Now I press the process button and I'll get the automatic report that uh, shows me the same uh, project, in this case this bridge, and the information related to the CO2 emissions from this project. This also allows me to select uh, different components, so there's an in interaction between the, the visual and the building information model. So I can select, for example, the columns, you see that it selects the columns, and I select the deck, it selects the deck. So there's a relationship between the beam and the data that is uh, collected in this report. We really believe that technology can help us bring superpowers to the construction industry, and it can support us in achieving the sustainability development goals. Thanks for watching.